Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, it's your man Baza B here with another episode of One Man and His Boat. Oh, we're going to be busy today. If you want to find out what we're doing, stay tuned after the intro please guys. So guys, what's in this week's episode? Well, basically we're still waiting on that colour coat drying. It's been two days now and it's still not quite right. I mean, the atmospherics have changed in the shed. It's not the best shed for drying anyway because it's just a static shed. The wind's got to come through the wrong direction to actually get some air into the shed. Uh, and when that air does come, it's cold and damp anyway. <laughs> So you're hitting your head against a brick wall. So all you've got to do is crack on with another job while that one dries. So while we're waiting on that drying, as you can see behind me, what I've got is the drill press out and I'm prepping the area for the pot hauler. Now, we're going up into the boat and I'll explain a little bit more in detail. There we go, guys. As you can see, it's still a bit tacky. And that was with 10 ounces of hardener in it to and it wasn't a lot for a little batch. The, the starboard side's nice and dry, but it's always this side of the shed, so it always seems to be the dampest and takes the longest to dry. Right, boys and girls, I'm now sitting where the pot hauler's gonna go, but there's a lot of prep work to do before we actually put it in. Now, what my theory is, is I'm actually gonna put a bit of stainless steel uh, on the front uh, top end of the bulkhead here, and then down the bottom as well and then there'll be a deck plate going in here so the hydraulic pipes can go straight into the pot hauler. Now obviously I can't do much more on this area till this dries. So meantime, what I'm going to get on with is this side here. Now this side eh, still needs the half round bar to actually go on the inside of the gunnels, both port and starboard side. It's just exactly like what the outside is. So that's what the drill press is for. We're busy drilling the holes for that and countersinking the screw holes. Right guys, last bit of news before we crack on with today's episode. It's all to do with actually getting the boat out of the shed. I had a fantastic idea about getting our neighbour farmer up the road to get his tractor in the shed with uh, him at one end with the load strap and my brother-in-law at the, the front end with the load strap and then lift them out. However, uh, looking back at our first arriving video when she come and we lifted her off the trailer, we ain't going to be able to do that. We've not got the height ratio at the doors. So the new plan is, is I'm going to make a bogey. Yeah, she's getting a bogey. Uh, basically a very slimline, low bogey that we're going to make ourselves and basically prop it underneath the boat. That way we can at least pull the boat sideways and front ways without having too much difficulty of bashing into anything or making it difficult for the high ab drivers or anything like that. So, the idea is, make a bogey, so you can look forward to that in a future episode. Um, see how she free wheels, and then we'll take it from there. I am going to have to make ramps as well, because there is a small lip where the steel door's gone up. So, <laughs> it's going to be interesting trying to get her out of the shed without any dramas, I can assure you that. It'll be worth a watch, I can assure you. Right, I'm going to stop slavery now, I think I've taken up more than enough of your time. Time to hash on, eh?
So everybody, as you can see, that's a big day. Uh, we've got quite a lot accomplished, uh, but I'm running out of editing time on these videos once again. See where this, uh, the ball's rolling, it's always running out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'll maybe split this into two, maybe three parts to actually fit in the pot holder here, uh, because it, it's going to take a while, it really is, and I've not got obviously the edit space to do all this, uh, just for having that crappy internet. So without further ado guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, write a comment below, subscribe to the channel and tick that notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. Right, until next week's vlog my friends, all the very best.